Hey girls, it's Steph, your Tone It Up trainer, and today I'm bringing you a total body low impact workout. This kind of workout is super great if you are trying to spare some of your muscles and joints. It takes out the jumping motions, and this is a perfect workout if you're at home wanting to get a good sweat in but not wake up everyone in the house. So we're gonna start in cat cow position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over knees. You'll meet me in this tabletop position. Dome your back up, undulate the spine, press up, 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 and then drop your belly button down toward the earth. Look slightly up. Go again, and take this at your own pace. Permission to barrel roll the chest up and around. Hit both sides. Maybe to sink back into the hips. Round through the hips. This minute is really for you to do what your body needs. So be that detective right now and move slowly. Come back to neutral. We're gonna lift your right arm up. Your eyes trace your palm as you thread the needle all the way through. Lengthen through your left hand, right hand tucks under. Ha! Huh. Nice exhale. And honestly, I could stay here all day, but we have to keep moving. Right arm is gonna go all the way up and back down, left arm up. Thread the needle through on the opposite side. Smooth breaths, using your body weight to give you that juicy shoulder stretch. Palm slides back, reach up. And back to neutral. Give me three more cat cows here. And then we're gonna pop up and use our squat band. Last one, up to your feet. Now here's our squat band. I'm gonna step on in, number one. Bring it up to hip height. And evenly step my feet in. Now from here, we're gonna warm up our lower body and posterior chain. When we warm up our posterior chain, I'm talking about the base of your heels, your calves, your hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. Really the area all the way up to your lower neck. So hinge forward, we have a good morning to a squat. Hinging, soft bend in the knees. Lift all the way up, squeeze your core. Drop down, press the knees apart at the bottom of the squat, lift up. Hinge forward and up, drop down and up. Emphasis on pressing the knees apart. So if you need to widen that stance, then go ahead and do it. We'll isolate the squat next. Give me a couple more reps here. Hinging forward, you should feel a lot of pressure on your lower back, kind of that hip girdle. Sink down. Good job at home. Next up, you're gonna go for a band walk. Your hands are gonna come to your hips. In three, two, one. Hands to hips, I'll turn and face you. I'm gonna step side to side, one little half squat. Step side to side laterally, one little half squat. Keep it up, keep the chest lifted. Neck stays neutral. Big smile, why not? And already feeling this in my abductors. Woo, as my legs start to pull apart against the resistance of the band. This thing is no joke. Good job. Next up, we're gonna squat it out, but I want you to move slowly on the way down, quick on the way up. Think three seconds down, one second up. In three, two, one. Wide stance, go three, two, one. Slower, all the way up. Three, two, one. Drive up through those cheeks. Slower down, three, two, one. Drive up. Think about sitting back and down. As you lower down, Think mid foot to heel as you rise up. Think about driving down through the heel. Drive up. Perfect, we add one more variation here. It's a squat pulse. We're there in three, two, one. You give me a pulse, pulse, lift. Pulse, pulse, lift. If you notice your knees starting to collapse in, press them apart. You've got this. You're working against this band. Hip drive through, drop down, drive up. I'm gonna challenge you here, and I know this is just the warm up, but you're gonna hold for three seconds at the bottom. In three, two, 
One, hold for three, two, one, pop up, lower down, three, two, one, pop up, lower down, three, two, one, pop up, hold it low. Hold it, hold it, hold it. For the next 10 seconds, when you rise up, you're gonna burn it out, up and down, in three, two, one. I'm counting. Here we go, last five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, safely remove the squat band. Good job, girl. That is one heck of a warm up. Shake it out, squat band moves to the side, and we get going with two circuits. Now every exercise in each circuit is gonna be 30 seconds long, and we go through each circuit twice. As mentioned, there are two circuits, and we'll hit your total body. So, pick up your dumbbells, we start with biceps. Just your basic bicep curl, I want you to roll your shoulders back, puff out the chest, skiddy up through the waistline, sturdy feet on the ground, palms face up, two curls on the right, two curls on the left, and if you notice, I'm slightly rotating my wrist so that I can sink down naturally next to my hip. So instead of just a normal bicep curl, this is more of a rotational curl. Keep that chest lifted. Good job, exhale on the effort, which is when the dumbbell raises. Final five, four, three, two, one. Next exercise, hinge over, kind of that good morning stance. Soft bend in the knees, flat back, chest lifted, elbows in, and they stay in as you kick back. Now we're using the back of the arms. Now just a suggestion for a modification here. If you feel like this is a little bit too much, begin to alternate. One holds up while the other kicks back. But we're not here long, so I challenge you to push your limits. Keep it up, keep it up. Good job, neck is neutral. Last five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, now I know this is a low impact workout, but that doesn't mean we can't do our burpees. These are modified burpees. Palms come down to the ground. You can do this with or without weights. You'll step back to a plank, step up to standing, and lift the weights. Modification, just take out those weights. Good job. Every time you stand, you're squeezing your cheeks at the top. I'm looking for perfect posture. Even through fatigue, you've got this. Squeeze the belly button in. Here we go. Good job, girl. You got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop your weights down. Now, right foot forward, left foot back. Watch carefully, I'll angle towards you. I'm gonna stay low. I'm gonna tap my back foot with my right hand. My right foot is forward. These are called starting blocks. Get as low as you can. Right side only this round. Here we go. Make sure you have that 90 degree knee bend, the knee is stacked over the ankle, and you're driving into the right, the front heel. Keep the chest low. Everything in you is gonna wanna pop right up, but just endure it a little bit longer. You've got it. Run it out, run it out, run it out. Keep it up. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, stand up, shake it out. You're down on your booty. Now grab one weight, at least one weight. Modification, do this without. It'll be a Russian twist. So sitting up, flat back, V position. Modification, heels down, advanced, feet up. Twist, just the upper body. Right and left. Up and over. And right now I'm telling myself, gotta stop the swaying in my knees and try to just focus on moving the upper body. Making sure the shoulders are twisting both ways with me. Keep it up. Stay focused. Last five, four, three, two, one. Great job. You're gonna drop these weights to the side. Make sure they're out of your way. We're lying on our back. Now this is an alternating V up. Modification would be a bicycle, I'll show you. So I'm here tapping across to my opposite toe, lowering down with control. Modification, you'll give me bicycles. 
Right elbow, left knee, left elbow, right knee. We're on in three, two, one. Here we go, lift up, tap, down, tap, down. Advanced, you just double time this. A Little bit faster, you'll get that cardio burn. Right and left, right and left, almost there. We're gonna cycle back and do this circuit one more time. You'll be a pro by then. Here we go. Final five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Roll all the way back and then sit up. You've got 30 seconds here to rest and recover, grab a sip of water, do what you need to do. Woo! I'm gonna step it side to side. I like to keep moving just a little bit in my rest and recovery time. I'm gonna prepare my dumbbells for the next move, which will be my bicep curl. Two on the right, two on the left. Woo. All right, you ready? Let's hit it. Here we go, pick up those weights. Three, two, one. Two on the right, two on the left. So strong, good job at home. So every time we go through this circuit, every time you hit something more than once, the first time you try them out, you're learning. The second time, it's practice. So get really good at it. Be really precise and sharp with the movements. Final five, four, three, two, one. Hinge over, tricep kick back. We've been here before, narrow stance. Kick back, elbows hinge in. Feeling all the love in the back of the arm. That's your tricep. Think pinkies up every time you kick back. Soft bend in the knee. Ooh, core is squeezing. Shoulders are wide. Here we go, you've got this. Powerful movements, kick it back. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Good job, stand up, shake it out. We go into that modified burpee, you can do this. Dumbbells down, step it back one by one. Stand all the way up. Make sure that you get your heels underneath your center of gravity so you can launch up and squeeze those glutes. That's the strongest cross-sectional muscle group in your entire body. We want to use it. Drive up. And don't forget to breathe. That's my secret weapon at the top. Final five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Whew. That was a tough one. Dumbbells go down, left foot's forward, lunge position. Starting blocks on the left side. So find that deep lunge position. Set up first, make sure you have a strong foundation. Left knee over left ankle. Hinge forward and stay low. We tap the back right foot with the left hand. You're on three, two, one. Here we go. Tap it out, tap it out. And I challenge you to stay really, really low. And I notice myself start to try to stand up toward the final 10 seconds of the last round. And so I'm gonna focus on being better on this side. Dig in through the left heel. Stay low, stay low, stay low. You're in control. Good job, girl. Woo! Run it out, that left glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, shake it out, amazing. Your reward, you're down on your seat. Boat pose, Russian twist. So grab that dumbbell if you grabbed one before or do body weight, that's totally up to you. Find your V position, right and left. Here we go, Russian twist. And with any ab or core specific movement, it's to your benefit to actually move a little bit slower. So why don't we slow it down for an added challenge? Ooh, now we're burning those side obliques. Keep it up. You've got this. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good job, girl. Weights go down, they're out of the way. Lie all the way back. You've got those alternating V-ups, alternating toe taps. Hands over the head, lift up, tap across. Final exercise of this circuit. Use that strong mind-to-muscle connection. Kick up and across. Think about lifting your chest and keeping your shoulders wide. Here we go, almost there. Finishing circuit one, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Good job, girl. 
take a moment, gain your bearings, and stand on up. You've got 30 seconds to rest and recover. Grab a sip of water, towel off. Whew. I'm just gonna catch my breath. Next round, we'll start with bicep curls. Very similar movements to round one, with a little added spice. So get ready to pick up those dumbbells in five, four, three, two, one. Now watch me, my thumbs are gonna face up. It's a hammer curl to my opposite shoulder right, opposite shoulder left, and then double hammer curl together. The thumbs are always facing up, right, left, and double. Chest stays lifted, core is tight and add a little soft bend in the knees too. Little shock absorbers here. Keep the elbows in tight. Good job, last five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna hold your dumbbells nice and high at the shoulders, now we squat. Squat, try to tap your elbows to your knees and drive all the way up. Remember we talked about igniting that posterior chain with the squat band. This is a similar concept. Drive up through the heels. Press the knees apart at the bottom of the squat. Whew. This is a definite power move, but it can still be low impact move jumping. Last five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Congratulations, you get to drop these dumbbells down to the floor. Now finding a low squat position and widen your feet to a stance that works for you. You're gonna hinge over with a flat back, tension in the hamstrings, pressing one weight to the ground and driving the other back, lifting the elbow high, keeping it narrow to the body. This is called a gorilla row. Exhale on the lift. And instead of just slamming one dumbbell down, think about putting it down and pressing into it to lift the opposite side. Flat back is key. Good job. Your gaze is straight down, like right in front of those dumbbells. Keep it up, keep it up. You've got it, last five, four, standing up. Three, two, one, last row. Lose one dumbbell, keep the other. As you step out to the side, lateral lunge. As you step the foot back in, you pass the dumbbell to the opposite hand. Stepping out and in, out and in. Feet land about shoulders distance. Keep the chest lifted. And you can do what you want with this opposite hand. I like to fly it wide, a little bit of momentum. Land softly on those joints, sink back into the heel of the foot that's stepping out. Good job. Woo, final five, four, Three, two, one. Nice job. You're down on your back. Bring both of your dumbbells. Fly all the way down. So from here, my palms are facing away from me. I'm gonna bring my heels in close to my seat. I'm gonna lift up. And as I lift up, I hold the lower body. I hold the glute bridge while I chest press. Elbows lower down to 90 degrees, press up and it's up to you to keep that core activated and those glutes lifted. Down to 90, press up. Heads of the dumbbells always tap together lightly. You are in control. Good job, girl. Awesome work. You can do this. You get to drop these dumbbells in five, four, three, two, one. Dumbbells come down, so does your booty. Now lift the feet up the wall. Flex your feet. From here, hands can go to your side or behind your head. You lower down the legs until you feel your lower back start to lift up. That's your indicator that you are probably at that stopping point. Then open and close the legs, lift back up. Lower down, open, close, lift back up. <sighs> Takes a ton of core stability. Woo. Squeezing the lower abs. Drawing the rib cage out wide. Keep it up, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, roll up. 
take a moment. You've got 30 seconds. We circle back and hit this round one last time. You are doing a great job. You've got this. I know, low impact, still very intense. So our first move when we come back to it is gonna be hammer curl, hammer curl, double hammer curl. Mirror muscles. You ready? Pick up those dumbbells. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Roll the shoulders back and down. Curl opposite shoulder, curl opposite shoulder, both at the same time. Now that you know exactly what you're doing, try to keep those elbows tucked in narrow to the body, not flying out to the side. The breath is exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. And it really does help. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Keep these dumbbells lifted to the shoulders, sit back and down, drive up, lower down, drive up. I find this to be the toughest move of this entire workout. So draw your attention to all of our form cues. And before you know it, this 30 seconds will be over. You got it. Sit back and down, heels drive up. Ha! Good job. Final five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, safely and gently drop those dumbbells to the ground. Shake out the legs real quick. Gorilla row is next, pressing down as you drive the opposite elbow up, keeping it narrow to your body. Here we go, hinge over. Find the stance that works for you. If you're not finding much mobility in this squat, then toes can slightly angle out to the side. Here we go. Exhale, lift. Form check is your back flat. You got this, come on. So strong, keep it up, keep it up. You got it. We're up on our feet next. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, leave one dumbbell down, pop up. Catch your breath. Here we go, lateral lunge out to the side. Get ready to pass that dumbbell. Step out and in, pass. Out, back in. Load up the glute every time you step out. And note to self, I need to keep my chest lifted as well. Got this. We load up the glute and the hamstring, the back side of the leg, so that our knees feel less pressure. Final five, four, three, two, one. Get this last rep in. You're down on the mat. Two dumbbells. Find that glute bridge right away. Now for this round, I'm gonna give you permission to lower and lift at the same time. Here we go, three, two, one. Second to last exercise here. I need you to bring it home, see that finish line. Lift and squeeze, lift and squeeze. Control in the upper body, control in the glutes. Stabilize through the core. Awesome work, I see you. Here we go. That's it, five, four, three, two, one. Drop these dumbbells down, lie all the way back. Feet go up the wall. Final exercise, I need you to give me your best effort. Lower, open, close, lift. Lower, open, close, lift. Don't let that lower back come off the mat. You've got this. I'm right here with you. Struggling a little bit, but I know the end is near, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep challenging myself. I need you here, come on. Finish strong. Here we go, last five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Whew. Good job, tone it up team. I'm gonna keep you on your back. This is your reward. Stretch the arms out long overhead, legs out long in opposition. Ooh, give me that nice good morning stretch. Ha, ah, nice big exhale. Pull the knees into the chest. Round out the spine. You can rock side to side, forward and back. Ooh, drop your left 
leg down, keep your right knee in. I want you to pull your right knee up and underneath your armpit. Sounds kind of funny, but that forces a slight external rotation to the back wall here. From this position, we did a lot of lower back work today. So we're gonna go into a half happy baby. Soft bend in the right knee, right hand, clasp the inside of the right foot, kick up. On the inhale, fill up the rib cage. On the exhale, sink that left hip flexor down into the mat. Perfect. From here, you're gonna take the right leg over, figure four stretch. Now maybe this is enough. Maybe you reach through and thread the needle. Lower body hip stretches help us release the upper body as well. Everything's connected. And switch sides. That right leg goes in, pull it up and underneath the armpit. Fill up, left hip flexor sinks down to the mat. It's a great time to remind yourself that this is hard work and that you just crushed it. All it takes is a little dedication, some accountability with your Tone It Up app. Kick, kick, kick with this left foot. And thread it across, going into your figure four, stretching that outer glute and that hip. I want you to be so proud of yourself right now. And release. Ooh, shimmy out the legs. You're gonna roll up. And from either seated or standing on your knees, right arm comes across the chest, giving our upper body a little bit of love. I feel really proud of myself right now. How about you? Knocked another one out of the park. Right elbow overhead, inhale. On the exhale, tilt over to the side, little side body stretch from the base of your elbow to your sports bra. Awesome, and release left arm across the chest. Perfect, settle in. Left elbow overhead, big inhale, fill up, and then over to the opposite side. Side body stretch. Let this cool down be the reward. Come back, be grounded, and come back to center. I'm gonna pop up to my feet. Wide sumo stance. We're gonna squat down, shake it side to side. We'll do this three times. So squat on down, shake it side to side, and reach all the way up. That's one, squat down. Ooh, get into those hips, press the knees apart, reach all the way up. Last one, squat down, shake it side to side. Reach all the way up, 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 up. Hands to heart center. <sighs> Good job, Tone It Up. I am so proud of you and I'll see you at the next workout.